Alright guys, you like hops? You like water? Do you like hop water? It is a new thing and before I hear the sounds of your eyeballs hitting the top of your head, it's not going to be for everybody. I don't know that it's for me. I did have it one time at a brewery in Milwaukee. I'll get the name of it for you next time I activate this clip and it was actually pretty good. So there are some people out there doing some versions of this. There's uh, some folks at the Clawhammer video channel. They did a nice video on this. I'm kind of following their lead. Here's what you do. I'm not really sure why, but you boil the water. So I'm doing that now for 10 minutes. There's no fermentation, so I don't really know what could be in the water that could cause it to get weird. Cool it down to 170. You add two grams of hops per gallon. I'm doing a gallon and a half, so I'm gonna use three grams. I suppose you could be picky about the hops if you had a particular flavor or aroma that you were going for. I just have these target ones on hand. I'm just gonna use them. This is basically a no cost sort of experiment, so I'm gonna use that. Cool it down to 170. Then here's the tricky part that might be a little hard for me. I don't have a pH meter. I have these old strips. You want the pH to be below 4.6, so you want it to get a little bit acidic. You can use lemon juice, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to see if I can get it to be from the alkaline kind of green color to be more of the red color, the acidic. I'll see how that goes. That's after I think I get it down to 170. So the next thing is, I got some ice water. I'm going to cool it down to 170, try to do the acidity and add the hops, and then you let them sit at the 170 temperature for like 20 minutes. So that is not many hops. You can see these hop pellets scattered around. That's my three grams, a little over. This thing's at 170 right now. 168, 169. So basically I gotta get them. Well, let's just do it. There's the hops. Bam. Cover. Maybe I'll set it for like 10 minutes. Or maybe I'll set it for whatever 10 minutes then I'll check the temperature and see if I need to hit, get it a little bit of heat or if it'll maintain the heat okay okay so if you try this at home don't be like me and forget to acidify the water before you add the hops which is what I did as you saw I dumped them right in there I now have this um, at this color which is gonna mean it's between um, six and four maybe hopefully closer to four it's a, this is kind of the reddish i believe if you look at this um if you have a ph meter obviously use that this is just a quick experiment i finally got it to that point but it did take me eight seven eight minutes so we'll see uh i think what that would do is extract more bitterness and and stuff and such from the hop so We'll see if the water is just like super bitter and almost undrinkable then uh, next time I do that first. But I'm just bringing it up to 170 again. We got down to like 165 or so and then I got about 11, 12 minutes left to go. So there is the greenish water. At least it looks like it has a little bit of a green tint. Here are these little Pico kegs that I've got. If you've ever seen my Pico brewing system reviews I did. I haven't used these things for some time, but this is the perfect chance. There are 1.75 gallons, and I'm going to put 1.5 gallons in. I've got uh, two mesh bags that will hopefully catch the majority of the hops. This is how I saw it done, and it seems like a good enough way to go it does smell I smell hops it is like a hop tea which I know is something that people make with like a French press pot sometimes to try out different hops it does have that smell I kind of wonder if a guy wouldn't put more 
lemony characters or uh, lime or I suppose there's lots of different kind of ways you could make this a little bit more interesting but ooh, that's hot so basically all I gotta do now is seal it up and put the gas on it I think I'm gonna put the I'm gonna disconnect all my other tap lines and just hook up one line to this and put it at maybe like 20 PSI for, you know, several days and see what it's like. It's only been a day, but I sampled this earlier and it was already very carbonated. And maybe the fact that it's only one gallon is um, to credit for that. So this will come out really fast here. So that is pretty much like your soda pop and uh, we'll clean up the mess. It doesn't really look green to me when I was looking at it, but uh, well, it doesn't help if I have a yellow background there I suppose. Maybe it's a little tiny bit of a tint. I have a couple of comments. First of all, my apologies for the shots of the love handle and the underwear. I know you come to this channel for a few different things, and those probably aren't a couple of them. So apologies for the a shot. I reviewed my clips, and I noticed that. Next thing is, I believe the brewery... Oh, man, I just looked it up. I can never, ever get it right. In Milwaukee, it's third space, I think. I want to say third place, because that is a cultural sort of reference to the place besides work and your home where you spend most of your time but I think it's called third space and they do a hop water that is pretty good onto this hop water it is carbonated after 24 hours it smells more like hops than some of my beers that I've made even ones that I've dry hopped it definitely has a green grassy raw hop pellet smell which I guess is maybe what you would get if you're doing a hop tea. The taste is not that bad. It is interesting. I can't really remember what the hop water tastes like at third space, but I think it was a little softer. So there is a little bitterness here. However, it's not too much. I will do this again. I'm somewhat satisfied with this. I don't like, I don't, shouldn't say I don't like, I don't drink LaCroix and those types of beverages. I just don't drink them. So I have had sips and you, I definitely have the carbonation here and that spritziness. And that's kind of refreshing and fun to uh, titillate your, your mouth. It's not like um, a beer hop character, but it's more like a hop tea. And it's not that bad, but I have two thoughts. First is, as you saw, I did not acidify my water before adding the hops. I would do that better. I might get a pH meter or at the least get just do it even with the strips and get it you know uh, more acidic before adding the hops and the other thing I might do is get a lower alpha acid hop and that might make the bitterness a little different also lower alpha acids higher in is it beta acids there's another type of component of the hop that I think has more to do with the uh, flavor less of the bitterness but just a, not a 10% alpha acid hop like I had here maybe I don't know that lemon drop hop. I don't know what the numbers are on that, but if there was a flavorful hop that was also lower alpha acid, that might be a good one to try. So those two points, acidify the water, different hop. Otherwise, I would do this same type of procedure. This keg I have is perfect for this kind of a thing. I personally, I mean, you could do five gallons of this, but, but that's a lot of hop water. I don't drink this carbonated water too much, but there you go. I mean, it's pretty easy. I made a mistake, but now I've told you how to correct it, and uh, yeah, it's interesting. It makes a interesting beverage. I think on, uh, I'll have some of this around, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe on temperature is going to get warmer here. Maybe it'll be fun to kind of grab a glass of that instead of 
something else. But uh, comment away, please, if you have made this and you've had success. It's somewhat new to home brewers making this and even breweries. And so any knowledge sharing that we can do, I think, is a good thing. Other than that, catch you later.